Isn't it interesting how much money everyone has? Nowadays in the crypto world where everything is anonymous and no IRS to look into you, it's getting hard to tell. But recently Forbes unveiled their first list of crypto fat cats. Let's take a look. 10 major cryptocurrency owners and how much they're worth. We're starting our leaderboard with Galaxy Digital CEO Mike Novogratz. He's known as Wall Street's king of Bitcoin. His estimated current crypto worth is around 700 million to 1 billion dollars. Ninth place. At ninth place is chairman of the Bitcoin Foundation and advisor at Block One, Brock Pierce. At 37 years old, his net worth is at about 700 million to 1 billion dollars. Eighth place. At eighth place is Anthony D. Iorio, co-founder of Ethereum, founder of Jax and Decentral. He has about 750 million to 1 billion in his wallets. He's financially helped the Ether project at very early stages, and later also hired the new law firm, which helped bring Ethereum to life. Seventh place. Seventh place is held by co-founder of Tally Capital, Matthew Rozak. He started out as a tech entrepreneur, but in 2013, he started investing in ICOs of new cryptocurrencies. His worth is estimated at around 900 million to $1 billion. Sixth place. At sixth place is Brian Armstrong. In 2012, when he was just 29, he created the largest and most popular cryptocurrency exchange called Coinbase. His worth is about the same as the guy right behind him, estimated at 900 million to $1 billion. Fifth place, Matthew Mellon, a private investor, the heir to one of the largest banking portfolios in the USA. There are rumors he has a history of drug abuse, so when his family heard about his enthusiasm for cryptocurrencies, they decided it's just another bad habit and made him sell all his bitcoins. However, later he switched to XRP and invested $2 million. Now he's worth about $900 million to $1 billion. Not bad for a supposed drug addict. Fourth place. In fourth place, the Winklevoss twins. After successfully suing Mark Zuckerberg for $65 million in 2004, they started investing in Bitcoin almost from its first days. Allegedly, they invested around $11 million and by 2013 claimed to have a total of 1% of all Bitcoins in circulation. Their estimated worth, $900 million to $1.1 billion. The last of the top three, Cheng Peng Zhao, founder and CEO of Binance Cryptocurrency Exchange, which in just 180 days became the world's largest platform for trading digital currencies. Yeah, his net worth is estimated from 1.1 to $2 billion. Second place. Our runner-up is Ethereum co-founder and founder of a blockchain company called Consensus. He also used to run a private wealth management division. His name is Joseph Lubin. His Forbes estimated worth is pretty broad, from around $1 billion to up to $5 billion. But the guy is a cryptocurrency billionaire. That we know for sure. And finally, first place, our leader and founder and former CEO of Ripple Labs, Chris Larson, he has a 5.2 billion XRP, so Forbes says this makes him worth about seven to eight billion dollars. But since January, the value of all cryptocurrencies took a sudden nosedive. It's probably more like four billion now. Still good enough for a firm first place. Curiously enough, Ethereum's main visionary, Vitalik Buterin, fell short of his Ethereum partners. His net worth is only around 400 to 500 million dollars. So now you know who's backing all your new projects or who you might want to approach at a cryptocurrency conference and invite for a couple drinks later. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.